Well, that's gonna break the bank. <laughs> All right, you lead. What? Okay, I'll lead. You got doggy, so. Yeah. How's it go guys? I'm Dr. Zed. I'm out here with uh, Fun Dip for Life again. Just gonna cruise around. Hit these jumps. That's beautiful. Yeah, just out here enjoying the ride. It's been a while. Um, I've got knobbies on. Uh, decided to transition over to uh, dual sport setup. He's still holding it. Woo! Nice. Uh, it's been a while since I've been up Mount Levin, especially on dual sport tires, so it's gonna be a little bit slower than normal, but it'll be fun. That sunset is beautiful though. I try to keep my eye on the road and still give you a view of it. Right now I'm looking for it. Oh, look at that big old owl. Bug on the buzzer. That's why I don't leave her visor open. <laughs> uh, could you imagine riding around and getting a Palo Verde beetle on your face? For those of you who don't know, Palo Verde beetles are the beetles that, uh, well, they're larvae burrow in the Palo Verde trees. And they're their roots and uh, causes them to topple. Yeah, great, insect. You know those trees that aren't really trees and they're like a huge prey in the butt to get rid of? Yep, Palo Verde. I'll do what I can do. <laughs> Hopefully we don't become human lightning rods when we get to the top of this. Oh my gosh, that'd be horrible. Definitely not as fast as my supermoto. So that, but who cares? He's taking it at his pace, I'm taking it at my pace. I always love these uh, don't drink and drive signs. It's like the, mar the martini glass with the keys through it. Let's be honest, if you're really an impaired enough to where uh, yeah, you stuck your pair of keys or try to stick your keys through <laughs> martini glass, I don't think you should even be outside. Like, just spend the night. <laughs> Maybe we'll hit a trail, get in my natural habitat. So 
reminds me of the time when uh, Casey and I went up to, well, we went up Mount Lemon. He was on his old uh, Yamaha DT500. Oh, there's lightning. That was on my DRZ400 SM. That was funny. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I got that video. His, uh, his, um, bike seized up like it didn't seize up but it just died on him so we had to wait until it started again so we were just cruising down and uh neutral oh my gosh that was probably the scariest ride down Mount lemon i've ever been on um i don't know what it is about not having engine braking power even just a little bit but when you're going 50 and it feels like you're on a 320 pound motorcycle. Woo, that's scary. <laughs> Temperature's dropping a little bit. It's nice. It's also less humid. Also, very welcome. Like, Man, has the humidity been off the, has the humidity been off the charts? It's been the monsoon season, so even if we don't get rain, it's gonna be humid pretty much all week. The only time we don't have the humidity is like five in the morning and God knows I'm not gonna wake up at that time. Like that's insane. Well, I'm not gonna be up at that time riding. I might be up, but It's so nice to be out here again. I, I've i missed the feel of my uh, dual sport tires, let me tell ya. Looks like somebody's being a hooligan again. <laughs> oh my gosh, for a moment I thought he was doing that with no hands. Like, what? <laughs> I think we just hit some bugs or that was rain. Check my pants. I think that was bugs. One thing I don't think I ever mentioned is that I got a Hero 5 Black Edition. Um, about the beginning of the summer I've been really liking it hopefully the, the po more powerful camera processor is making the night rides a little bit better on the eyes instead of the high beam uh, not much else that's illuminated Colorado River toad. He's young, he still has a tail. Yeah.
surprised. I haven't heard much of them yet. What, the toads? Yeah. Yeah. From right here, a whole bunch of them got my house. Yep. <laughs> you have that spot on. It's either a Colorado River toad or it's a very sick frog. I'm probably gonna go really slow down the mountain. I'll follow you. Okay. Alright, so, bit of a mishap, my glasses fell on the ground, and the lens has popped out. Yeah, so they're back in, um, so we'll see how long they stay like that. It sucks, because I don't have a spare pair of contacts in this backpack. But at least they'll get me home. Dang cat almost got killed. Yeah, so my lenses are in. Thankfully Casey's was Casey was able to find the lens. Because we only had one. And uh, he found the other one by luck. So now we're just going to take it pretty easy back down the mountain. That cat back there wanted to get killed, my gosh. I think that's rain. Hmm. Well, it wouldn't be the first time we're about to rain, but... I haven't been out in the rain with a pair of busted glasses before, so that'll be fun. I haven't been on Mount Lumbin before in the rain either. That's gonna be fun. And that was a massive bug, that was not a raindrop. I don't know if this is rain or a bunch of bugs. I can't really see. I like Velma from Scooby Doo. Hey. Scooby, where are my glasses? <laughs> oh yeah, that's definitely rain. Well, thanks for the help. Thanks for helping me find those.